Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, January 13th. Ram Trucks has introduced a robot that can autonomously charge your electric vehicle. Ram finally took the sheets off of their electric Ram Revolution truck at CES this year, after teasing the concept several times. The EV pickup comes with some pretty cool features on board, but this is something a bit out of the box. During the reveal at CES, the CEO, Mike Koval, said that the charging robot will make home charging as easy as possible by intelligently detecting the vehicle's charging needs and automatically moving to the place and aligning itself underneath to begin the recharge. The device itself looks like a Roomba with a cord attached to it. Charging power is planned at 7 kilowatts, but can be extended in the future. Production for the robot charger is slated for 2025, a year after the Ram Revolution electric truck is set to arrive. Longtime Tesla fans may remember that Tesla's solid snake charging arm was shown in a brief video some years ago. Still no word from Tesla on if that tech is coming to consumers. Perhaps the competition from Ram will get Tesla to dust off the old bot. Mercedes is going to drop the EQ branding from their names of electric cars as early as 2024, citing confusion from customers. In recent years, Mercedes has been branding their electric offerings and concepts with an EQ badge, which was meant to stand for electric intelligence in a riff of the concept IQ. That's all well and good, but it may not be sustainable in terms of names. For example, Mercedes sells, or will soon sell, an EQA, EQB, EQC, EQE, EQE SUV, EQS, EQS SUV, EQV, and potentially an EQG and EQT. Considering that Mercedes has already announced that they will no longer develop an internal combustion engine after the year 2025, this prefix for EQ on electric will soon be redundant. Mercedes says that their first non-EQ electric model that they will introduce will be their next generation of compact cars, slated to be on the market in 2024. Jaguar has unveiled the 2024 refresh of the I-PACE. Jaguar first unveiled the I-PACE, the electric vehicle of the future, in 2018 with stunning design and performance. The electric vehicle embodied everything that Jaguar represented and was quick to receive high praise, winning over 90 awards, including World Car of the Year for 2019. Back then, some people claimed that it would be a Tesla Model X killer, but didn't really catch quite that much steam. In any event, the 2024 Jaguar I-PACE will feature an enriched design, enhanced specifications, new technology upgrades, and what Jaguar is calling more aggressive-looking R-Dynamic options. The company is touting a 90 kWh battery with a WLTP rated range of 292 miles. They also have an array of tech upgrades for the infotainment system. Unfortunately, they did not upgrade the powertrain hardware and as of yet have not released pricing for the U.S. markets. Lucid Motors has shared some optimistic news ahead of their detailed fourth quarter report coming next month. They saw significant production growth over 50% in 2022, helping it surpass its guidance of 7,000 units for the year. Some people see these numbers as not terribly optimistic. After delivering 125 EVs last year, Lucid ended the fourth quarter of that year with news that they would be slashing their production targets for the coming year, meaning 2022, citing supply chain constraints. They originally anticipated to produce 20,000 EVs at their facility in Arizona, but reduced it to a target of 12 to 14,000 and then slashed it down again to 6 to 7,000 units. That was a target that they did indeed hit. Although it finished with a strong fourth quarter, we do not yet know what Lucid's production guidance will be for 2023. But based on the increased output of the last two quarters, we expect it to rise. EV charging network EVGO has announced a new maintenance program that will roll out upgrades, replacements, and even the retiring of hundreds of chargers across the U.S. The new EVGO Renew program looks to improve the fast charging experience for their customers by doubling down on charger reliability. I can tell you from my personal experience that many third-party charging locations desperately need improvement. You can let me know in the comment section if you've had those experiences too. Anyways, EVGO is going for it, saying that they have a guiding pillar of prevention, diagnostics, rapid response, analysis, resilience, and continuous customer service. To me, this is pretty good news. 
Solid State battery developer Solid Power continues to rally financial support to help scale their nickel and cobalt free cells for electric vehicles. This week, the United States Department of Energy announced it's awarding over $5 million to help Solid Power continue developing their technology, which could significantly help lower the price of EV batteries. The money is part of a $42 million package that the Department of Energy is using to financially support 12 different projects under the Electric Vehicles for American Low Carbon Living Program, also called EVs for All. As an American battery manufacturer, developing cells that are not only more energy dense, but also lighter, thinner, and less volatile than lithium ion, it's little surprise that Solid Power was able to secure taxpayer money. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Joe Blow asks, Are you as gullible as you often seem, or is it that you get compensation for supporting mistruths? Well, Joe, the guy that I bought my timeshare from, he says I'm not gullible, and he made a fortune learning off of Bernie Madoff, so I think I'm in good hands. By the way, I've invested in a new NFT that's called the Stanley Nickel. For some reason, the website isn't working, and the price of the token isn't doing great right now, but... Anyways, if you want, you can sign up under me and get a portion of the investment that other people put in. If you get two of your friends to put in, and then those two friends get two of their friends and so on, then we could all be millionaires by the time that we're 30 years old. Does a 30-year-old millionaire sound gullible? I think not. You can make that check out to checkmate, Joe Blow. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.